they were singing that literally. Somebody sleeping in my bed, my bed, my bed. Somebody's taking my bed, my bed. Somebody sleeping in my bed. Oh, and you know what I mean. That's a bad feeling, ain't it, y'all? Ooh, it's a bad feeling. When someone's sleeping in your bed, your bed. Oh, yeah. And someone's taking your place. Your place. Oh, listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Look, it gets greater. I, I can't believe this. This woman in Portland came home to find a homeless person in her child's bed. Oh my God. Because y'all know Portland, the homeless situation in Portland has really gotten out of hand. It's so insane that people are just leaving the town. Or is it Seattle? Yeah, from Seattle, Washington, Portland. They are having, I mean, well, we already know the homeless problem is bad everywhere. You know? But by the grace of God, there go I. Anyway, Kelsey Smith, who lives in northeast Port Portland, found a homeless woman lying amongst clothing on top of her son's bed. Smith initially thought her husband was playing a joke on her, but after her dolls continued to bark, she realized it was a stranger and her son called 911. Lynn Zinzer, 54, was arrested and booked into the Montalvo County Sheriff's uh, Department, a sheriff's jail on charges of burglary and harassment, but released one day later. Smith was not even told that Zinzer released and charges were dropped. Woke DA Mike Schmidt is an outspoken progressive and police critic who came into office during the height of the riots in the summer of 2020. Police said that the DA is rejecting cases with, without giving sufficient reasons and with the office seemingly unable to know which cases to prioritize. See, they can't never do nothing right. And then what they do is they do it all wrong. So they create a problem and that way it never gets fixed. Okay, that's just to seem to be the American way. That is insane. <laughs> she said, and she said that she initially thought again that her husband was playing a prank on her, but within moments quickly realized someone had broken into her home to hide out. After backing out the room and calling for help, Smith was bum rushed by the intruder who had picked up an ottoman and threw it at her before leaving the home. Um, on the video, She called the woman name as if the woman is in her house. The frightening ordeal was caught on camera that Smith had set up in the room to monitor her son's medical condition. My goodness. Oh. 
Denzer's bail was set at a baffling zero, with the district attorney's office said to be gathering more evidence before they moved forward with any further charges. A homeless woman wandered off the street and got in this woman's bed. What? <laughs> Portland is currently in the grip of a homeless crisis with tent cities having sprung up all over the place. Um, and the reason why I say it's insane that we are experiencing this all over the country um, people are allowed to just block your doorway with tents. It's really sad what is going on. And um, attorney Mike Schmidt have left little to no deterrent, little to no deterrent for city criminals. Zinzer was able to enter the home uninvited because the front door had been left unlocked in order to allow contractors who were renovating a bathroom uh, out of the home. After hearing her dogs barking like mad, Smith followed them into a bedroom at the back of a one-story home. The dogs continued to go crazy, specifically the chihuahua, which is running circles around my legs which was really unusual. I followed her to where the other dog was into my child's bedroom. My Labrador was standing on top of the on top of the bed on top of a pile of clean clothes that I had thrown there. I walked in wondering if she had cornered a mouse or something because she was going crazy. And I realized then and then that there was a person under there. <laughs> what is Sam's tarnation? That's what my friend Barbie would say. What is Sam's tarnation? Smith then even called out the name of her husband thinking that he might be under the pile of clothes. But there was no reply. Oh my God, Justin, she cried. But there was still no response. Only then did she realize that there was, in fact, a homeless person in the bed. I backed out of the room talking to my friend on the phone saying, listen, I need help. That there's a homeless person that's in my kid's bed. <laughs> The dog is up. The dog is on the bed. I'm, this is insane. <laughs> oh, now the woman got up with a start when she heard Smith was planning to call the police. First, she was just going to stay in there. The homeless woman then picked up an ottoman and chucked it directly at the woman. Damn, that is insane. At that point, when she left up, I recognized her as a woman. I, she hopped off the bed and picked up the ottoman at the foot of the bed and bum-rushed me. She threw it at me and then mended out the door. Smith can be heard telling the woman to leave while her son called 911. Zinzer then started swearing at her and picked up an ottoman, throwing it at her, at her again before walking out the home. My first thought was, what? <laughs> Am I in the crazy house? That was the first thought I know. My first thought was, what the F is going on? The fear didn't come until after she was born and I started to run through the scenarios in my head about how this thing could have played out so much differently if my younger kids had been home. 
she was actually in the bed. My 24-year-old son heard the commotion and came running upstairs, charging up the stairs because he knew something was wrong. He went straight out the door and into the street following her, calling 911. Zenzer was quickly arrested and charged, but just one day later she was released without bail under court-ordered release. When Smith contacted the a Moltino County District Attorney's Office of Mike Smith, she was told Zinger's charges had been dropped despite of the clear video evidence of the crime. It's all on the ring how she came into the woman's house. See, um, the dog followed the homeless woman back out onto the street where she was soon arrested. See, I we don't, well, I'm going to speak for me personally. I don't have dogs like that. You know, people say, why are your dogs angry? Well, most of us that live in the hood or something, our dogs are meant to bite the ass. They're not meant to walk you in the house and stand on top of you while you, if you come into my house like that and get into my bed, you wouldn't even make it. <laughs> I, I would say the dogs are acting crazy, turning around, spinning around, but she'll be back. What would be the incentive for her not to be back? I mean, and some of y'all might just feel like I'm wrong, but I feel she's wrong for walking her ass in my house. I don't know what kind of... Uh, Madness that could be, but that would teach her a lesson. You know, she won't be that crazy where she won't learn a lesson the, not to walk in that house no more on the block. She'll walk in some other ones, but I bet she won't walk in that one again if the dog bite. This woman got two dogs and she didn't get bit. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. Anyway, uh, this so they were, of course they're blaming the um the uh, um woke DA. So hundreds of police officers have retired or quit police. I mean Portland's force over the last two years. In exit interviews released to local journalists, officer resigned in Portland often cited the county district attorney Mike Schmidt as one of the reasons. Schmidt. An outspoken progressive police critic came into a police during the height of the riots. Oh, oh, oh boy. Schmidt ran as a progressive and won 77% of the vote just days before George Floyd's killing in Minneapolis. So I guess y'all blaming him for this. Oh. Um, just 10 days into his tenure, Schmidt announced now that his office would decline to prosecute protesters over the majority of misdemeanor charges that they were being arrested for, including criminal trespasses, orderly conduct, oh, okay, and interference with the police officer. At the time, the pandemic, uh, the pandemic coupled with a spike in violent crime had already bogged down the court proceedings. And most of those arrested in protests would have to wait months for hearings. So it was simply easier not to prosecute in the first place. Instead, Schmidt's office was to focus on the more serious protest related crimes, including property damage, theft, and the use of threats or force. Schmidt makes sense. Schmidt explained his policy as a desire was to focus on the cases that are actually going to have a positive impact on public safety. They mad at him now. Anyway, what do y'all think about this? This is, what do you think about Portland's homeless problem? 
I mean, it's bad. Because I um, know, because a friend of mine that um, had a cousin in Portland or went to go visit a cousin in Portland was in total shock. And she said that it made Skid Row look appealing. I was like, what? And that's when I heard about the tents and stuff in front of people's homes and you know, they they can. There's no laws that impedes them from setting up a tent right on your front grass. I was like, whoa! And actually, I thought she was kind of exaggerating, but I see now. <laughs> ah. Anyway, what y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments below, okay? And if you like what you hear, please like. Please subscribe and please share the channel, you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.